Well, hey guys, welcome back to Envy Soap Works. I'm about to make a batch of soap in a fragrance that I really enjoy, but it always misbehaves for me. I don't know why, because nobody else seems to have problems with this but me. <laughs> so, um, this is the Green Aloe and Clover. This is a Bath and Body Works dupe. It smells so good. It's just the cleanest, freshest fragrance. I really like it. Um, but it just thickens up on me in the blink of an eye. So this is one that I really like, but I just avoid it because, you know, I like to do a lot of like intricate, um, you know, like swirling with hangers and um, like th very thin pores so I can get that like good striping. But this just doesn't allow me to do that. So I, like I said, I just avoid this one, but I'm going to give it a try today. It's been a long time and I just want to have that fragrance. So what I'm going to do with this one, um, let me show you my colors first. First I have this very beautiful sunflower yellow. This is um, from Micahs and More. And then I have um, apple green. This is kind of like almost a lime green, but not not quite. But it's just a really pretty, um, you know, very pretty lighter green. And then here I have, I think this is called aqua green or green blue. Oh, I should have looked, but I've forgotten. But this is just a really pretty kind of... Um, I guess it's kind of a bluish green and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make my base color this kind of bluish green and then here I have a kind of teal this is called turquoise turquoise green mica this is also from micas and more in my recipe today this is a little bit different than my normal recipe I have olive oil coconut palm avocado oil mango seed butter hemp oil, kokum butter, and castor oil. So this is quite different from my um, normal go-to recipe, but this one makes a really lovely bar of soap. And so I thought I would go ahead and give this one a try. I haven't used it in a little while either. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up, my additives. <laughs> And my additives were just goat milk powder, white kale and clay, and a little bit of colloidal oatmeal. And I had forgotten to grab my lye solution, so I just got that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and get my lye solution in here. Now what I'm going to do for the pour is just do, um, since it thickens up on me normally, I'm not going to do anything that takes a whole lot of time to do. Um, so I'm just going to do like a messy kind of stripe, carefree stripe down, you know, like the full mold. And then I'm going to take my hanger, start in the middle, and do a spiral and that's it. I did that once before with another um, soap. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted. I wanted to actually see the spiral, you know, like a spiral effect in the middle of the soap. I didn't get that. However, I did like um, the swirl. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one another try. So let's go ahead with our lye solution here. And then I'm going to be adding in coconut oil, or I always say coconut oil, but what I mean to say is coconut milk as I get um, this emulsified. So hopefully this will not thicken up on me as bad as it normally does or as it has in the past. This is a completely different recipe too um, than what I've used in the past so I don't know guess we will just have to see how it turns out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get this emulsified
Okay, so I got that nice and blended up. I was afraid that maybe I took it a little bit too far, but no, this is definitely not, um, even at a light trace, it is just emulsified. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my cups over here. Oh, I forgot to mention that I am gonna have white in this, um, not as the base color, but just as a color in the soap. So um, this is gonna be interesting. I. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I might change my mind about having having the green be the base too. I don't know. I'm going to think about it while I get poured off here. <laughs> I'm very much a last minute mind changer. So we'll see how we how we do. All right then, so this is what I ended up with. I'm really liking this color here. I think it's really pretty, um, but I think this might clash. I don't know. I always do that though. I think that it's gonna clash, and then when I cut it, I'm really happy with it. So I'm just gonna go with it, um, but I do like the way that this turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my fragrance oil. Let's see. If this is going to thicken up on me the instant I get to mixing or if um, maybe I've just had some bad luck with this one in the past. I don't know. Let's just mix it and see. Yeah, see it's, it's thickening up pretty fast. So let me just get going here. Alright you guys, so yes, it did absolutely thicken up on me extremely fast and I also have ricing in the white. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stick blended up. Because I don't like ricing and I don't want that in my... that look ricing gives an ugly speckled spotted kind of look in your soap I really don't like that so now last time I used this it did thicken up really quick but I don't recall there being any ricing so not only is it thickened up but there's also ricing <laughs> and that one's not so bad 
ugh, this one's pretty bad. It's pretty, pretty like, you know, gloppy, but still, I mean, definitely workable, definitely workable. It's just not, um, super fluid how I like to pour my, my soap. So that's all right. It sure does smell good though. I really enjoy this fragrance a lot. So there's a lot of air bubbles in my white here. I need to kind of tap it out. Sometimes I would rather tap my bowl or cup um, instead of tapping the mold once I have it in. Tap your bowl, you can see all the bubbles rising up to the top. So that works pretty good. Okay, so I think that I'm still going to be able to do the pour that I wanted to do. Pour, I don't know about pour, it might be more of a plop at this point. But, um, I really just wanted to do kind of like sloppy, kind of like a sloppy layer, kind of stripe down the middle, and then just do a hanger swirl in like a um, spiral pattern. This is such a pretty green. It's just like a kind of like a pistachio green. I really like the way that that looks. So I'm going to put quite a bit of it down in the bottom of the mold to start. And I wanted there to be a little bit more white than some of the other colors. So I'm just going to stripe down the mold. Actually, let me go with the teal. And we are thickening up quite quickly. This is just how I remembered it, but I can still get it to stream in, you know, pretty decently, so I'm not too worried about it. I might actually like the way that this is going to turn out with it being so thick. It might actually work out better for me. So let's just stay positive, shall we? Okay, so now that I have um, a good amount in the mold here, I never make um, I never make soap in this mold full to the top. It would just be a ginormous, huge bar of soap. Um, so I always keep it, you know, full just about at this level, and it makes a pretty decent size. So just in case anybody's ever wondering, why don't you fill your mold up to the top? That's why. Um, so. What I'm going to do is go down to what I believe is the middle and start with the little spiral and keep getting a little bit, um, you know, going out more till I have a big spiral that goes all the way to the sides and hope that that will give us a neat look inside. I think it will. And I really don't think that the soap thickening, thickening up a little bit um, is going to make that big of a, a isn't going to be that big of a deal. I think the soap is going to actually turn out pretty cool. I'm totally digging the color combination. I love this color green with all the other colors. I think it's really pretty, and I think it suits the fragrance very nice so now what I'm gonna do here is of course go ahead and get all my soap that I have um, left in the cups on the top so I can do some sort of you know simple top <music>
All right, everybody. So I got this all done, or I got it all in the mold, I should say. And um, it was really hard to get it <laughs> to go on how I wanted to because it did get so thick, but that's okay. Um, I'm looking for a stick. Here we go. So for this one, oh my gosh, I have soap all over. Everywhere I look, there's soap on the ground, there's soap on me, there's soap on the table. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me quick go around the mold here since I made such a mess of the mold. I, um, I'm really excited about this soap. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So, we'll see. Now I'm just gonna do a quick little zigzag through. And then also go the other way. It makes a very beautiful sort of feather look. And I've always liked that. I think it's really pretty. So it works good when you have a little bit of um, thicker soap so you can get that kind of texture on the top. So I'm very pleased with the way that that turned out. I'm probably going to go ahead and whack this down really good just because it was thick and I tend to get a lot of air bubbles if I don't do that. So let me zoom you guys a little closer. I should have done this before so you could see what I was doing to the top. There you guys go. Okay, so that's how the um, top of this green aloe and or green clover and aloe soap turned out. So tomorrow when I cut this, I will bring you guys along so we can see how it turned out. Bye. Hi everybody, welcome back to the cutting of the green aloe and clover soap. I am super excited to find out what is going on on the inside of the soap. I couldn't be happier with the way that these colors ended up. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And I love the color that I got for um, the base of this soap. I've never had I've never had this color in a soap before. It's so pretty though. I'm really, really hoping that there's gonna be something exceptionally awesome inside of this soap. I have been avoiding this fragrance for so long just because I know that it thickens up and it misbehaves for me, but I love the fragrance so much that I finally just went for it. And you know what, it behaved pretty good. I mean, there was some rising, it did accelerate, but nothing that can't be managed. So I'm really hoping that we're gonna get something awesome inside, and I'm gonna cut into this and find out. Oh my goodness, I love it. That is awesome. Woo, that is so pretty. I can see the spiral. I can see it. Oh my gosh, I love those colors, and the top of this one is really cool. Alright, let me try to calm down my excitement. <laughs> I get super excited, I know, when I cut soaps. And I do this every time. Even when I'm not recording and I'm alone, you better believe that I'm talking to myself, I'm cheering, I'm ooing and aahing, even when I'm by myself. <laughs> so, oh, that's real pretty. Oh my gosh, look, you can see this spiral on this one so well. Whoop. That is cool. I couldn't be happier with the way that the colors are complementing each other. And see, I was skeptical when I had the colors mixed up. They just kind of looked like they were clashing a little bit. Um, but now that I see it here in the soap, I just think that it is a really nice combo. There's that little circle again. Oh, you can really see the spiral in this one. See, the first time I did this, I wanted a spiral, but it didn't work. And so I just figured it wouldn't work. But now doing it again, I got more of more of a spiral so that's really cool so I'm definitely gonna try this again 
I can tell that I didn't go out very far. Like my, my circle is really little. Um, so I think I need to keep it tighter and keep going out all the way to the outer corners a little bit more. But really, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. That looks really neat. Let me see if you guys can see the detail. Oh, it's so cool. This one is really, really spiraled. Pretty. And then the top turned out just really nice because it was um, pretty thick. So it had a nice... I was able to get a really nice texture just kind of doing like the back and forth like you get that really nice feathered look that's a really pretty one look at that Oh good, I'm really pleased with this. I, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to get, um, but I, I, couldn't have, I couldn't have asked for anything better. This is really tickling me right now. <laughs> and the top. Oh my goodness, look at this one. <gasps> Wow. Wow, that one, this is just seriously blowing me away. I cannot believe the way that this turned out. I need to go back and watch the video because now I don't remember how I poured this at all. I made four soaps yesterday and so they're all kind of blending together. I don't really remember what I did with this one. I know that it was awfully thick, so I think I was just doing pretty fat um, pores just straight down the mold. But I'll have to go back and look because whatever I did worked out just fine. This is really awesome. Really awesome. So pretty. The yellow in this just makes it. I'm so glad that I added yellow. At first I wasn't going to. I was just going to do greens and white. But I did decide to throw in yellow just, just to add a little bit more life to it. And I really do think that it just makes, makes a ton of difference in the soap. Alright, I'm going to shave off just this little back piece. And then this is the last piece here. Some really beautiful patterns in this um, in this soap. It turned out so good. Couldn't be happier. Okay. Alright you guys, so this is the way that this soap turned out. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I know that I'm pretty <laughs> pretty vocal about my excitement when I cut a soap that I really like. So hopefully you guys liked it too. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye!